So here's the thing, your course sales page matters. That's your last opportunity to convince the buyer that this course is the right course for them. So as you know, I'm a devout fan of Thinkific. I absolutely love the platform and I love the company, but their sales page builder, it can be a little bit clunky. So I use lead pages as an external landing page. And up until now, I've had a heck of a time trying to figure out how to connect it and integrate it seamlessly with my Thinkific site until now. So here's the thing, Jessica Stansbury posted a video a few months ago with a small hack to be able to redirect my core sales page to my external landing page. So that basically it just bypasses the Thinkific sales page. I'm telling you, when I found this video, I cried. Hey Jessica, I owe you a big bouquet of flowers for this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that happen. Whether you're using Divi or another WordPress theme and you're building a landing page or a sales page on your website, whether you're using an external landing page builder like lead pages or unbounce, whether you're using thrive card or thrive themes for your landing pages, it actually doesn't matter. You can lead your potential students, learners, and members to a completely different landing page hosted on an external site. I'm going to put a link to the blog post below that has this piece of code in it that you're going to need and step-by-step -step instructions, but watch the video and check it out first. And then I'll see you over on the blog. So here's how it works. What we're actually going to do is connect the external landing page to our Thinkific site. So it redirects automatically to our external landing page. So here we are on one of my Thinkific sites. And let's scroll down to the Publisher Course Bootcamp here. Now, normally when someone clicked on this or clicked on View Course, it would go over to my Thinkific Course sales page on Thinkific. But check this out. As you can see, this has redirected automatically over to my lead page. So this is a landing page that I actually built on lead pages and the one that I want to use as a sales page for this bootcamp. So this is how it redirects right over automatically. And then what I've done is connected all the buttons on my sales page to lead straight to my Thinkific checkout. So they bypass my Thinkific sales page on Thinkific and go straight to the checkout page. So let's walk through this step by step. The first thing you're going to need is a completed course and the course has to be published in order to make this happen. So you could publish it and go through this process in about five to 10 minutes and have it all set up and ready to go. So you're gonna go into your Thinkific dashboard under my courses and choose the course that you want to redirect the landing page for. Okay, so you're gonna find yourself on your page builder when you click into your course. Now I've just left the page header here because that's site wide. And what I've done is just added three banner sections to this um, with basically a fairly plain background and to mimic the top part of the lead page that I've built that it's going to redirect to. And I did that only because I found that it sometimes takes one to two seconds to redirect. So I don't want my visitors to my Thinkific site seeing something that looks completely different from the landing page they're going to end up on for a few seconds before they end up there. So this is optional. I just added a few banners and you could just do a plain colored background and no image for your banners if you wanted to. And that way, uh, if the if the course sales page does show for a second or two, your visitors aren't going to be confused when they're then sent over to your external landing page. Okay, so we're in our uh, sales page right now under page builder, and I'm going to grab the link now for the checkout page. So as you can see right now, I, I use a call to action here. So um, I'm going to open up the landing page for this course. And I'm actually going to do this in an incognito window. So I just went to preview landing page and I am going to take the URL, everything except preview. Okay. I'm going to go to an incognito window now. Now I'm going to paste in that URL. So this is actually taking me to my course sales page on Thinkific. 
As you can see, it's really ugly. This is the banner background that I added so that, again, uh, my visitors aren't confused before they jump over to my external landing page. All right, but the important thing here is up at the top, you're probably going to have buy buttons. Now I'm gonna use this one here. It doesn't really matter if you use your call to action button for this course or your buy button. But what we're gonna do is right click on this and copy the link address. Then we're gonna paste it into our URL bar up here. And what we're looking for is to make sure that this is the checkout page for this particular course. And in this case it is. So I've got the link now. Do not copy and paste this link. You're going to copy and paste the link that we right clicked to get from the course landing page, okay? So we've got that copied now. So let's go over to our lead page where we want to connect a button. And again, you can do this on Divi or uh, Thrivecart or wherever. Basically, you need to lead them back to the uh, checkout page on your Thinkific site. So that's what we're doing here. So let's scroll down. And here's the button that I want to lead them to the checkout page. So I'm going to click on this. And again, this is going to be a little bit different depending on whether you're using lead pages or Thrivecart or Divi or, or a, another WordPress theme. And so I'm just going to connect this button. to the link that I copied and I'm going to click on save. I'm done. And I'm going to update this page now. Okay, so now I'm going to view the page because I need to get the URL for this landing page. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to head back over to Thinkific. Now here is where the magic happens, friends. You're going to go over to settings on your course and make sure that you're doing this for the correct course. You're going to settings, you're going to page code, and just drop your link in here for a second. Now you're going to grab the code from the blog post that I have up with this code on it and you're gonna paste that code in here. So you've got your landing page, your external landing page, and you have the code, the script here that you're gonna need. Now what you're gonna do is just copy this and put it right in here between the quotation marks. And then we can delete the link. So now what you've just got is some coding with the link to your landing page, and then we're gonna save changes. So now let's go over and preview the course landing page in an incognito window. So again, I'm just going to grab this without preview because this is just showing me a preview. I'm going to go to an incognito window. I'm going to paste in my Thinkific URL for my course. And as you can see, it's about to switch over. And there we go. So you saw that you saw my uh, course sales page on Thinkific just for a second and then it switches immediately over to my landing page on lead pages and now when we scroll down and click on the button to join the next boot camp we should go straight over to our checkout page on Thinkific for that program so how was that for incredible i'm telling you this has been life changing i've worked with hundreds of thinkific clients i have several thinkific sites of my own i've built over 20 courses and this is a game changer for me so drop a comment below let me know what you thought of this hack and jessica mwah.